From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A Virginia Beach, Virginia woman is accused of arson after investigators say she purposely set a potted plant on fire. The charge is a Class 3 felony, which means the 29-year-old could go to jail for anywhere from 5 to 20 years if convicted. Man, somebody needs to tell this lady that setting a potted plant on fire, that is not the same as smoking pot. Okay, now this is just hilarious. Or sad, I guess. It depends on what side of the political aisle you're on. A new Bloomberg poll, it shows Hillary Clinton is viewed less favorably than President Trump, despite Trump's historically low approval ratings. <laughs> so maybe you don't get those pantsuits dry cleaned for the 2020 campaign just yet, Hill. A study says many U.S. children suffer lower back pain. You know, I used to tell my mom that. That's why I couldn't clean my room, but she never bought it. In Northern California, Judge Michael S. Williams has lost his job because apparently he could not resist the urge to swipe two Art Deco-style business card holders from a judge's dinner in San Francisco. The Commission on Judicial Performances censured Williams, and he agreed to resign effective December. Williams was attending a dinner hosted by a Matrimonial Lawyers Association in March 2016 when he took two cardholders in the Art Deco decor of the City Club of San Francisco. They were each worth about $30 to $50. The commission says Williams returned the cardholders after being informed that he was caught on video. So the judge expressed remorse, said he had an unexplainable impulse to take the cardholders. So a judge's career destroyed, or the theft of something less than a hundred bucks. You know, if you can't be trusted with the small things, how can you be trusted with the big things? Speaking about calls from all sides to cut down or out his use of social media, President Trump argues, they want to take my voice away. Trump claims, it's my voice, they want to take away my voice, they're not going to take away my social media. And my MTV, I want my MTV. San Francisco school officials have banned chocolate milk because they say it contains too much sugar. They're also banning sugary soft drinks, non-sugarless gum, and Def Leppard's Pour Some Sugar On Me just to cover all the bases. Researchers have found that an all-corn diet can quite literally turn a female hamster into a deranged cannibal. A new study found that the European hamster, which once used to feed on a varied diet of grains, roots, and insects, is not doing so well on a diet limited to industrial-grown corn. The study notes that the hamster species is on the verge of extinction in Western Europe. The all-maize regimen has turned the burrowing critters into deranged cannibals that eat their own offspring. D do you see what you're risking here by going vegetarian or vegan? You might be the beginning of the zombie cannibalistic apocalypse. New research seems to indicate that Tyrannosaurus rex couldn't run. And they were extremely poor dancers. Sometimes a price increase is so steep it must be criminal. A woman in Australia called police to report that her drug dealer was asking way too much for marijuana. The woman told police she was completely offended at the outrageous price hike. What, what an idiot! Calling the cops for pricey pot? No, that is a call for the Better Business Bureau. A melting glacier in the Swiss Alps has given up the bodies of a couple that went missing 70 years ago. The ice preserved them as they were when they disappeared all those years ago. Scientists are baffled, though, as to why one of them looks like Brendan Fraser. A new study says that people in Seattle spend 58 hours a year parking their cars. You know, I'm guessing that number doubles during Christmas shopping season. America's bacon reserves are currently at a 50-year low. On the plus side, our cholesterol levels are looking a heck of a lot better. Heidi Montag says she has gained 25 pounds during the first six months of her pregnancy. Uh, you know, I hate to break it to you, Heidi, but chances are you're not carrying a 25-pound baby. Some of that extra weight is you. Lifetime is going to debut a new show next week where they show blind dates live. Obviously not a true reality show, because nobody in their right mind is going to want cameras watching their first date with somebody when everything you do is already being judged by the person you're hoping will be the one. A team of engineering students from UC San Diego is on a quest to discover whether the moon provides the necessary conditions to brew beer. 
Wait, wait, wait. Is there something wrong with brewing beer on Earth here somehow? I mean, what? Are we going to have beer shortages unless we're able to start brewing in space? Why didn't somebody warn us about this? All right, excuse me. I have got to go stock up on some Guinness. A New Mexico man is facing charges after police say he threatened to pull a gun on a taco shop employee for giving him the wrong order. Bullets, Taco Bell, you know, neither one's good for your health. Please support my channel by sharing the daily dose of weird news on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!